Dan Haggerty, man or demon? Uh, part man, part Dionysus. I, I, when he walked into the hair and makeup trailer, two of the ladies got pregnant uh, within 15 seconds. Really? Yeah. That's quite the man. He, he spreads his seed about. I guess he's kind of half God then, as you say. Kind of like Perseus. Kind of. Now, I know you're going to get this question all day long, but with your character here, he really has no, I would say, respect or can find the artistry in the Spanish language. And I'm wondering, once you know that about the guy right off the bat, does that make the rest of the character just come to you automatically with who this guy is? Um, <clears throat> it certainly helps. I mean, uh, it, it was clear in his disrespect for the language, but also he has a, just has a, a lot of rude <laughs> dialogue. <laughs> there was a scene that was cut from the film in which I call my Mexican counterpart... Um, I call him Taco Face, and that was really where I drew a lot of the character's personality from. You are a Taco <laughs> Face. <laughs> Hi there. <laughs> Shut up, Taco Face. Yeah, were you eating tacos? No. Oh. That's, that's just my musk. Okay. Thanks for doing this, by the way. My pleasure. <laughs> you look handsome. They told me uh, you're... They told, <laughs> I got an email that said, Will's dressed really casually, so whatever you wear will be fine. <laughs> I'm usually in a tuxedo. It's not, casual. Not cool, Taco Face. Do not get along with him. I can see that. He's kind of a hard guy to get along with. Ugh. i tell you not to dress up. I like this shirt, though. It looks like it didn't come off the cheap rack, though. Thank you. My wife, anything I wear now, my wife chose for me. We have an understanding. That's good, though. It, it is. It must be nice to get up and have somebody have your clothes laid out for you. That's really nice. And the, But the most important thing is when I go out in public, people give me compliments on the garments she has chosen. So I have no problem with the system. Well, how often do you get a compliment when you go out in your own clothes that you chose? Or do you even do that at this point? Those clothes are no longer in my closet. Really? Uh, over, we've been together for 12 years, and she's systematically weeded out all of my original garmentry. Now, did you hide any somewhere? I did I did tuck away some of my former raiments in a, a basket on a top shelf. And if she happens to go to New York, maybe it would be on Letterman. Then I'll bust out one of my old tie dyes. I like that. Now you're into tie dye. You don't strike me as a type, but again, what do I know? <laughs> I, I used to, I used to uh, make my own tie dye shirts uh, and sell them outside of dead shows for a tidy profit. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, what was different about your tie dye that was not quite up to par with the other tie dyes? Because I know there's a lot of tie dyes when you go to one of those concerts. There right? are. Um, Honestly, I think my work was pretty mediocre, but I had my shirt off when I was selling them. I think that was wow. maybe my, my gimmick. I've seen those pictures. I just watched that show. I mean, my girlfriend was like, oh, my God. I loved him before, and I'm in love with him even more now. I mean, seriously. She was just like... I'm not sure which show you're referring to. Oh, with to. you and your wife, it was on, uh, what show is that? It's on It's on a show, a channel we don't usually get, Sundance Channel, maybe. The, you um, guys were talking about a box of stuff you used to have. Oh, that show. Yeah, I cannot remember the name of it. It's called Mortified <laughs> Sessions. Yes, that it. Yeah. It was going to be called Shoebox Sessions. I like that. It was, it was really nice. We um, had never appeared on screen together uh, as ourselves. We had acted together a lot, but seeing us as a couple, we found ourselves quite charming. <laughs> I found you guys charming. It was my favorite episode of that show I watched. I watched them all back to and, back. And it was also, it was cool because we were both moved by the end. Uh, we, we sort of learned things about each other that we didn't quite know, and we were like, hey, wow, that's, that's why we're together. It was, it was neat. It was cool.